Well, hello everybody, and welcome back to G-Bear's Off-Grid Ways, a homestead in the desert. And yeah, that feels good. Air conditioning. Uh, I have right now uh, two of these air window air conditioners. The one here and one in the bedroom. And both are running on high. And I have three ceiling fans. And there's one, and there's two, and the other one's in the bedroom. And they're all running. And the refrigerator, freezer's running. My security camera setup is running. Um, my chargers, all of that stuff for my uh, electronics are running. The power for the uh, sleeping TVs is running. All that stuff is on. Okay, so... Let's take a walk outside. Yeah, I know some of you are guessing already, right? Well, the winds are blowing. Oh my God, it's like a stepping in front of a giant hair dryer out here. Holy smokes! Woo! Hot. Oh, you guys knocked your water over, huh? So. I got out here early this morning, skipped breakfast, skipped brunch, skipped lunch, and I got out here and I got some work done. So, you guys better be nice. So, there's a couple of batteries over there, and there's a few batteries over there, and there's a battery over here. So, what did I do? Oh my God, what did I do? I did what any red-blooded American would do when he was hot. I installed the batteries. So I took off the ones, like I said, off the top shelf, but instead of rebuilding the shelf to be larger, I made up this little metal bracket right here from an old bed rail. And uh, that just, it's not really carrying any weight of those. It's just so if there's an earthquake, these things won't just flip off of that shelf. Uh, the other thing I didn't do was I did not cut the main cables that run to the inverter off. Because this is not the permanent position that everything's going to be in. So instead of wasting the wire, I said, I'm just going to hook it up like this and see how it works. So I did use my battery battery power um, charger on here, and it's still reading 13.6 volts, and that actually has one set of 100 watt solar panels from the Harbor Freight solar panels going into it that came off of that unit right there. Then this unit that used to be over here, I took it, put that on there, and I took a uh, um, the gauge and the, the uh, help me everybody somebody tell me what I'm trying to say here the bridge rectifier and uh, the, the breaker off of there for right now but I'm not using that so I ran my turbine in through this hybrid unit jet without solar hooked up to it just the um, turbine and then I just use the alligator clips to clip it onto the battery so when the winds pick up like they're out right now I should be getting a charge a little bit uh, later here when the winds get a little stronger and those will help give me a charge through the night so right now these are still all hooked up and going through the rover and I've got 13.5 going on those and still solar charging on them now, these new batteries are going through the midnight, and only those batteries in this midnight. So there's, there's my specs of what's going in. Now the switchover on this for setting the, uh, changing the settings on the midnight and on the Ames inverter was very, very simple actually. All I had to do was this little dial indicator right there. I had to change it when it was set on 6. I just had to click it one time to go to 7 for Life Pro 4 batteries. Alright, that's all that took. 
Then on this, it's in float right now. What I had to do was I had to go into the setup here and go into the charge and go into the volts and I had to reset all of this stuff. Now, we don't do equalization even though it says 14.5 volts. It's not really um, doing that because uh, my absorb and my float are set according to the parameters I got with the LiPo 4 batteries. But um, the uh, T-Comp, see I got it disabled here. So the equalizer is disabled. That's because these batteries have their own BMSs in them. They don't like being equalized by this guy. So that's disabled. So if anybody come in here and hit the wrong buttons just to see what the display was, they, uh, they won't blow up my battery system. So we'll go back to status here. So I've been running all day since noontime and it's like going on 5 p.m. or so right now. So I got five hours into this and I started off with uh, 13.9 on this reading and it's showing 13.6 so I used three tenths of a volt all day running all those air conditioning uh, units and all the fans and everything else in the cabin how do you like that I am impressed by these lead time 12 volt 230 amp hour plus now the plus means that these have a 200 amp uh, BMS in, in them. So each one of these has a 200 amp BMS in there. That's why they put the plus on there. So that will handle up to 200 amps. That's outrageously good. I'm, I'm surprised now I can actually say those four batteries right there are now taking place of the all of the two shells and the two down there of six volt um, golf cart batteries. So there was uh, 60, 18 of those plus these four right here which are 470 amp hours each. And those are all supposed to be 232 amp hours each. Um, now remember because it, when I hook them in series it's still only 230 to amp hour so um, it's not adding those two together on these the way I've got them in parallel I add those amp hours together 230 230 230 and 230 and I get 920 amp hours so at 12 volts 920 amps I'm getting 11,040 that's 11,040 watt hours out of this uh, little tiny bank right here. And now, if um, Tony and Leanne are thinking about go going this way too, but they're at 48 volts now with their new system. So if they hook these in series, they would have 48 volts. And they would have 48 volts at 230 amp hours, not 920 like I have. But 48 times 230 is still 11,040 watt hours. So they get the same amount of power out of them at 48 volts as I'm getting out of them at 12 volts, but 48 volts is more efficient. So they will be in hog's heaven if they get four of these and um, eliminate all of their lead acid batteries and just run off of these four. Now, to be honest with you, I was going to go with uh, server rack batteries down the line when I get my all-in-one. But I've since um, been mind-changed because of what I've seen here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to get another uh, four of these, make it a total of eight, and I will switch those to 48 volts. So I'll have um, two sets of 48 volt batteries uh, running at 230 amp hours each and those will be in parallel so that would be 460 amp hours at 48 volts 
that's a lot of power. Uh, I'm thinking that if my money comes in from the um, inheritance, then I will be able to afford to buy another four of these and still pay off my debts that I have to pay off without running it down too low. But then I'll be in good shape for a little while to also pay off all of my um, credit cards that I've been running up. So I'll be able to live on the money I'm getting each month from Social Security and I'll be able to save a little bit each month. I want to go with, uh, since I'm going to be doing the guest cabin, I want to go with 12 of these. I want one, two, three set up in here. Now I'll probably do a little modification in this room. Um, this shelf will probably move because I won't need this anymore with the all-in-one. I won't need those anymore with the all-in-one. The all-in-one will mount on the wall right there. So I'll have room to get to this shelf and I'll have room to get to that shelf. So the rest of these parts of the shelves on this side can stay just like they are and I could just use those for storage. This unit's no longer being used right now. It's still hooked to the batteries, but it's not being used anymore, so this will be coming out of here. Now I'm going to have a lot of nice, neat room in here. And then I'll have room to put my um, solar stuff all in here nice and neat from the, this battery to that wall, and that's it. But yeah, I can do one, two, three sets of four and when I upgrade to 48 volts, I will be swimming in power. So that's my plan. And this one I think I'm sticking to. I want to thank you all for joining me. Questions and comments down below. By the way, this little battery uh, gives me the option. Since these batteries don't come with uh, built-in Bluetooth, by hooking that up to this battery bank, I can now use the Bluetooth on my phone to check my battery status anytime I want from anywhere, anywhere on the uh, property without having to come back into the cabin or back into here to get some readings. Pretty cool, huh? So I'm reading 13.6 here, I'm reading 13.6 there. That's a, a good thing. Uh, 25 amps and I'm uh, bringing in 340 something watts I've got 2.6 kilowatt hours of uh, service built up into that thing so I'm in good shape I'm in really good shape and I'm happy I'm gonna sleep well tonight as my friend Andy said in the text earlier but yeah I also have this big fan running down here because uh, I wanted to keep the room cool a little bit because it was another one of those 100 plus degree days. I saw, uh, I think it was 104 for the high today. Mercy, 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 just too hot. So anyway, I will be working on this now as it cools off. Um, I'm still using all of those batteries. I still hooked up to my 12 volt lighting system. Um, I will switch those over to these batteries when I uh, get a chance to clean everything out of here, uh, straighten up all the wires. I was just throwing cables down on the floor down there um, to try to speed this thing up. And I was using my uh, power drill there or my screw gun with a socket on it to zip the bolts off real quick so I can get this all done as quickly as possible and it worked out pretty good now that cable going up there that was the one that went to the next battery bank and I just stuck it up there for now because I had to connect that one little battery uh, cable that's there I forget what that went to oh it goes to the uh, to the battery rack up there where the um, bus bars are so all of that's going to get all cleaned up uh, I'll do some modification on the wiring so it's a little bit neater. But in the meantime, I'm up and running. And I'm off and running. This is G-Bear signing off.